Welcome to today's exploration into the future of sustainable energy, harnessing the sun's power on Earth, the ITER project, and the future of fusion energy. Imagine if we could replicate the power of the sun here on Earth. That's the tantalizing promise of fusion energy, a form of power that could revolutionize our world. This isn't just a pipe dream, it's the very goal of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITAR, project. ITAR is a globally collaborative endeavor, aiming to make this dream a reality by creating a fusion reactor that's both safe and efficient. If successful, it could lead us into a new era, where energy is abundant, clean, and sustainable, changing the way we power our lives forever. So what exactly is fusion energy? And how does the ITER project plan to harness it? Join us as we delve into this exciting world of fusion energy. To fully understand the ITER project, we first need to comprehend what fusion energy is and how it differs from its counterpart, fission. Let's start with fission, the process currently used in nuclear power plants. It involves splitting larger atoms into smaller ones, which releases energy. While fission has been a reliable source of power, it also produces long-lived radioactive waste, which poses environmental and safety concerns. Now let's shift to fusion. Fusion is the process that powers our sun. It involves combining two light atoms, typically isotopes of hydrogen, under extreme pressure and temperature. When these atoms fuse, they form a heavier atom and release an extraordinary amount of energy. This is the same process that fuels stars in our universe, including our sun, providing the light and heat that sustain life on Earth. So, why is fusion energy a big deal? Well, first, fusion releases far more energy than fission. Just to give you an idea, a fusion reaction's energy output is about four times greater than that of a fission reaction. This means that a fusion power plant could potentially generate four times more electricity than a fission-based one, making it a more efficient source of power. Second, fusion is cleaner. The fusion process does not produce long-lived radioactive waste unlike fission. Instead, the waste products of fusion are helium and a neutron, both of which are not harmful to the environment. Lastly, fusion uses fuel that is abundant and accessible. The primary fuel for fusion, hydrogen isotopes, can be extracted from seawater, meaning that we essentially have an almost unlimited supply. Fusion thus, holds the promise of being a game-changer in our quest for sustainable energy. It offers a solution to the energy crisis while addressing the environmental challenges associated with other forms of power generation. As we delve further into the ITER project, we will explore how scientists and engineers across the globe are working together to make this promise a reality. Now let's turn our attention to the ITR project, a beacon of international collaboration and ambition. Born from the shared vision of 35 nations, the ITR project represents one of the most audacious scientific endeavors of the 21st century. It was conceived with one primary goal, to demonstrate the feasibility of fusion as a large-scale carbon-free source of energy. The project revolves around a massive machine known as a tokamak, a Russian acronym for toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. The tokamak's function? To generate the extreme conditions necessary for fusion to occur. Picture this, inside the tokamak, temperatures reach over 10 times that of the sun's core. This heat creates a plasma and the magnetic coils confine and control this plasma, allowing for the fusion of hydrogen nuclei. Now you might be wondering why all this fuss about a giant machine? Well, the tokamak is at the heart of the ITER project. It's the testing ground for key technologies and the stage for achieving sustained fusion reactions. The ITER's tokamak will be the largest ever built, standing at a staggering 30 meters tall and weighing in at a colossal 23,000 tons. But the ITER project is more than just a massive machine. It's the embodiment of a dream, a dream that one day we can harness the same energy that fuels the stars. It's a testament to what can be achieved when nations put aside their differences and work towards a common goal. This isn't just about finding a new energy source, it's about securing a future where energy is abundant, clean, and accessible to all. It's about creating a world where our energy needs don't compromise the health of our planet. The ITER project is a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of sustainable energy solutions. However, like any pioneering initiative, the ITER project too faces its fair share of challenges. First off, let's talk about the technical complexities. A fusion reactor is not a simple machine. It's a marvel of modern engineering, designed to replicate the conditions found at the heart of a star. To achieve fusion, the reactor must heat hydrogen isotopes to temperatures exceeding 150 million degrees Celsius. 
that's over 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. Not only that, but this superheated plasma must be contained within a magnetic field to prevent it from coming into contact with the reactor walls and cooling down. The challenges don't stop there. The plasma must also be sustained at these extreme conditions long enough for fusion to occur. And once fusion begins, the reactor must safely manage the incredible amounts of energy produced. This requires sophisticated control systems and materials capable of withstanding intense heat and radiation. In addition to these technical hurdles, the ITER project also grapples with budgetary and timeline challenges. Initially estimated at 5.94 billion US dollars and set to achieve first plasma by 2016, the project's budget has since ballooned to 23.76 billion US dollars, with the first plasma now expected in 2025. The goal to achieve fusion power, a sustained fusion reaction that produces more energy than it consumes, has been pushed back to 2035. This increase in cost and time is due in large part to the project's unprecedented scale and complexity. The ITER reactor is the largest tokamak ever built, and its construction involves numerous cutting-edge technologies, many of which have never been used before in a fusion reactor. These challenges, while significant, do not deter the scientists and engineers involved in the project. They are determined to make fusion power a reality. The potential impact of the ITER project and fusion energy as a whole cannot be overstated. We stand at the precipice of a world where unlimited clean energy might soon be a reality. Fusion energy, the same process that fuels our sun, could revolutionize our world, mitigating the impacts of climate change and drastically reducing our carbon footprint. Imagine this, a world where power plants emit no greenhouse gases, where energy production no longer contributes to the warming of our planet. Fusion energy has the potential to make this vision a reality. Unlike fossil fuels, fusion does not produce harmful carbon emissions. Moreover, fusion reactors, once operational, will generate far more energy than any existing power source, while leaving behind only minimal waste. But the ITER project isn't the only game in town. Across the globe, scientists and engineers are working on other ambitious nuclear projects. Westinghouse, for instance, is developing a small modular fission reactor that could provide an alternative to large, traditional nuclear power plants. These projects, while distinct, share a common goal, to harness the power of the atom for the benefit of humanity. Yet, it's important to remember that while these advancements are exciting, they are not without their challenges. The road to a fusion-powered future will be long and arduous, filled with scientific hurdles and technological complexities. But the potential rewards, a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable world, make the journey worthwhile. As we look ahead, we must also remain grounded, these technologies, as promising as they are, are not silver bullets. They are pieces of a larger puzzle, part of a broader strategy needed to combat climate change and secure a sustainable future. The promise of fusion energy is not just about powering our homes, it's about safeguarding our planet. It's about ensuring a future where our energy needs no longer compromise the health of our world. This is the promise of the ITER project, and indeed the promise of fusion energy. As we reach the end of our exploration, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've delved into the world of fusion energy, a potentially game-changing solution for our global energy needs. We've learned about the ITER project, an ambitious international endeavor to harness the power of the sun right here on Earth, using a tokamak reactor. We've grappled with the complex challenges that come with such a pioneering venture, from technical hurdles to budget escalations and extended timelines. But through it all, We've glimpsed a future where fusion energy could revolutionize our world, providing an almost limitless supply of clean, safe power. We've seen how projects like ITIR have the potential to mitigate climate change and reshape our energy landscape. So what do you think? Are we on the cusp of a new era in energy production? The future is bright and with fusion energy, it might just be a bit brighter. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of fusion energy, and please consider sharing our exploration of the ITIR project. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, stay tuned.